Hey guys, we thought we were live a second ago. Sorry we're late. We were live on a private chat and nobody was there. So somehow the settings have been set to default to a private video. So every time I load a video up, we're like talking to ourselves for the first minute and then we're like, is anybody watching? Why is nobody watching? So I'll have to go in and fix that in my settings. But. If you are, I can't see that far away. Are they show people are actually watching? Yeah. Oh, people are. everybody's on. on. They're saying hello. We're, we're just going to go by uh, Zeb and Jamie Ray standard time five minutes late. Let the record show that I had my makeup and my hair done. I was only one minute late and it's because of Zeb that we're this late. So. All right. So if you remember, we did a video a while back with stamps and we watercolored them using DIY paint that we watered down. And it's time to frame those because we're well past Christmas and New Year's and coming well, into spring and things like that if you live in the south. We did it in December because we're like, oh, we're going to be ahead and we're going to get them up for Valentine's Day. But then we came out with our new stencil line and we had to frame all of those signs for my samples for our website, jamierayvintage.com, if you haven't been there. And then we never framed these. So I told Deb this morning, I said, how about you go buy yourself a new tool? So Merry January, what's today? January 9th. Is it the 9th? Merry January 9th <laughs> to Zeb. We got ourselves a new little tool. So we got this staple gun so that I can run it all over the house and we can do stuff easily here while we're live on videos and I'm excited. We'll see It'll how it does. It'll be great for when you put up the shiplap walls for me and all the trim and the beadboard and the framing of all the windows. That's in the new house we're getting, right? It's when whenever I get around to it. <laughs> we're doing our, tomorrow's video is going to be our master bedroom redo. So I'm thinking we're going to have to find a project for that because it's got to make it work. Our master bedroom redo. We basically, if you haven't been following the channel for very long, we redo our room in like the main area of the living room because uh, it's a refresh. It's not a redo, Zeb. I feel, I feel like it's a redo by the time we're done, but we change it with the seasons. All right, so this wood we're staining, and I we use the real stain number two a lot. We feel like it's a gift that keeps on giving because when it gets down to the bottom, we just water it down to make more stain, and the stain just gets lighter, but you still get kind of an aged wood look, which is cool. We'll show them up close the difference between stained and unstained. Okay. And don't lose the order on my boards, oh, or we'll be in trouble. <laughs> All right, All so these... here is stained. See, it's like that light wood that's so popular, and unstained. This is real stain number two, but it's super diluted. And because it's um, because it's water-based, when you get down to the bottom of it, you can just add more water to it and just keep using it till it's all gone. So don't throw it out when you get done with it because a lot of times the pigment settles to the bottom and you can keep using it. It'll we just be lighter. We have probably done 30 signs when we thought we were almost out. So it's still going. Yeah, we just kept going. And mostly we just use it. You can see I'm staining these boards here. And the nice thing about it, because it's water-based, it's going to be dry in about 15 minutes. We'll still be able to use these while we're still live on this video. Yeah, it, well, and they said the Ryobi, that, uh, not the Ryobi, the Milwaukee, that's a stapler and a nailer. That is just a stapler. It uses 18 gauge, or nailer, sorry, not stapler, nailer. So just a nailer, 18 gauge, it handles up to two inch nails. Oh, so it doesn't do little staples? It doesn't do little staples. It'll do little it's tiny okay. nails. I It's kind of heavy for me, so I'm not about to be doing upholstery with it anyways. And I'll I'll probably get my own hand up upholstery <laughs> one later. They, they make them specifically for upholstery that are smaller, I think, that you can get. So, But these are, it's going to be great. Like you said, shiplap all the things with it. And, you know, trim and whatnot. It's nice because sometimes in the summertime, one of us is spraying with the air compressor and then something needs to be nailed. And we can also like take it on site to do things if there's things we need to do because it's cordless. So really we just needed a new tool. So we're going to tell you how we like it. It's and been it on my list of things I've wanted to get since I got the, the Milwaukee system with the batteries. So, you know, it was time. Also, I got my lashes done yesterday. And I'm trying to offset that expense by letting him spend something. Comment I don't below. Feel, I don't feel like that works. Comment below if you ever want something and you let your spouse have something they, or you don't let, but you agree to have, have your spouse get something they want. So then you can in return get something you want. But, I told him that eyelashes were a good investment because they save me so much time when I'm getting ready. Sure. So I won't be late for videos. Sure. Because we'll I didn't have to put any mascara on. We'll say that. <laughs> Kimberly Ellis says, hi guys, thought of you two yesterday while I was out thrifting. Um, just Miss Me Sarah 18 says, is it from Harbor Freight? No, Milwaukee 
is a brand that we usually purchase at Home Depot. And we're in no way sponsored by them, although we would love to be sponsored by them if they're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're the, if you see me using those red drills and my, uh, my circular saw and my jigsaw, they're all cordless Milwaukee stuff. Everybody agrees with me that I, that that's how it works. The show 78 says yes all the time. Her husband gets razor parts and she gets a new bag. Ooh, razor parts. Sue says it sounds like a fair deal. And Caitlin says that's how it works with Jacob and her. She says, I'm like, but hey, I got you something too. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> Like it's like a catch twenty two. Like I don't I don't necessarily need something if you're <laughs> going to get something. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Sherry says that her husband buys fishing gear and she buys pants. Um Pebby says uh Pebby Comer says that's how it works and we've been married forty three years, so it must work. Uh, you know, <laughs> Zeb and I have been together for nineteen years and married over seventeen. So I feel like yeah, it's you it's know working. it's working for us thus far. All right, let me, I'm just gonna stain. I got one more of these to stain for one more sign and then I'll show you real quickly how I put them together. I've got a separate video on how to do this that's edited, but it's in the middle of actually doing the sign. So we wanted to just do framing the signs. Yeah, we've been asked about this a lot lately. So I just wanted to make like a very specific sign framing video. And the other thing, did you show them? We're gonna be framing out, this is the watercolor that if you're in our channel membership group that we've been talking about, this is the printed out watercolor. We wound up darkening the color, so if you do download it now, it's the darker color so it shows up better. And we did that so that way when you blow it up, it doesn't get too fair. But this is the eight by 10 printout, and we made it eight by 10 so that way, if you don't wanna make your own sign, you could just go buy a pre-made sign and frame it out. But these are available for our members from the member channel, and every month there's gonna be new printables. This is January's. All right, I'm trying to keep these in order because we use scrap MDF. Not all the sides are created equal. They Not are all are. kind of different lengths and things, so. If you wanted to get in like real sign production when we're gonna do a ton of different signs, I cut them out all the same size and and then I do all the, like sequence it out. And these ones are all different, so. And I was gonna mention there's about four or five people out of the hundreds that have signed up that have had issues with getting into the community, which is where we post um, our free printable that comes with a channel membership. If you have that problem and you still, you can give us your name, we can check and make sure you're on the list. We can still send you the link along with the password so that way you're not missing out on that when we're trying to troubleshoot getting you on to all the YouTube stuff. Just email customercare at jamierayvintage.com and we'll make sure that you get that because I know that a few people can't. Um, Joanne says her country doesn't allow us to join membership. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Maybe they'll change. They're, they're adding, it's a new thing, so they're adding countries well, all the time. Well, she says her country doesn't allow it, so. Yes, but they're they're working on, like, all that. Like, yeah. I, I asked the, I asked in my email, because I did have a question about that the other day. Oh, okay, so. so they are working on it. It is relatively new. Yeah, they're opening up new areas all the time for the channel memberships. Would so. love a CNC video. How much was it? $11,500. Wait, it was $6,500, and then we added a bunch of stuff on. It it was eleven thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Um, yeah, we will have some CNC videos coming up here pretty soon. Zeb is still not super proficient at it, so we don't want to put out a video until we know what we're doing. Because I, some of the stuff we can wing it, you know, like stamping, stenciling. We got that, but CNC machine it's a pretty big investment. So we just want to make sure that the information we're putting out is correct and we're showing you the best way to use it. Ours, we went with Laguna Tools, and if you do decide to go with them, email us, and we'll get you some contact information, and don't forget to tell them we sent you. Um, let's see. Emily says that her... Are you ready to staple something? I'm, I'm almost ready. You can answer another question or two, okay. and then we'll get this going. Well, Emily just says uh, that what, her DIY paint samples just got delivered, and then um, do we always use MDF for sign frames? So this is... MDF is what the signs are made out of, but the frames are made out of wood. Yeah, they're and, pine. And we don't always use MDF for signs. This is just leftover because we have the CNC machine now. We have leftover bits and pieces of boards when we cut it. And you know us, we're green, we're cheap, and we are running out of room in our trash can. So for all <laughs> those reasons, we find ways to reuse stuff. So oh, if we build 
shelves out of MDF or anything, we save all the ends and then we make them into signs. But you can also use wood for signs. In fact, I actually have some wood outside. I saw it next to the trash can, like little pieces that I totally intend on making signs yep, for. Yep, I but saved them for you. That's why the garage gets messy, because we save all these things. We're kind of hoarders, and all of a sudden we go through it and we make like a million and three signs, we paint all the blanks, we get ready. So Zeb's gonna show you how to get this one framed, and then when he's done with that, I will do a quick little stencil, we'll design something real quick on here, and we'll do some more framing out. Real quick, I'm gonna bring the camera down so Jamie and I will be off camera, but you'll be able to see what we're doing. I'm gonna show you how I get these cut out no matter what size they are real quick easy measurement on there and do your cuts and that way it's right every time so like they're closer they can see my eyelashes they look the same as they did when you had I makeup know. on them before I, it just, <laughs> I like them okay they're new and fancy they're my shiny new toy all right so we're using this is one by two it's planed down, so if you actually measure it, it's three quarters inch by one and a half inches. And then, so what I do when I'm measuring these out is I'll just get my board, I'll take a little tiny scrap of the same board, and I will put it on the edge right here, and then I mark my board right there on this edge here, and that's how I know right where I need to cut. And since this side was different, I made a separate measurement over here and see, so you can see that's a little short right there. I'll have to use this other board down here. And that's just how, and I overlap them. I don't do 45s because A, it takes too long to measure all that out and cut them. And B, I actually like the way it looks kind of overlapped in the square, so. Somebody wants to know if you ever finished painting the wall. No, that's on the, <laughs> the wall is on the back burner till I have like an entire free day to do it, which, it's probably not going to happen until next December. We're going to do it before we go to Hawaii. <laughs> so it's done before your parents get here. So the cleaning ladies don't have to keep vacuuming around the tape. All right. So what did you do with my two little scraps I had? Here? Oh, I had them right here. Okay. So the reason I used the one by two is because I'm going to put these under here. These are just half inch MDF scraps. You can use whatever half inch. And that's going to give me a lip on the back and the front. My board's got a little wiggle to it. We'll see if we can straighten that out with the staples. <laughs> it's got a lot of, it's really crooked. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but that way I've got a little lip around the front, but I, when I flip it over, I don't have to add any hanging hardware. I can just hang it from the edge of the board and done. All right. So let's, glasses on, putting my glasses on. It makes it more rustic is what the weathered shed says and somebody says do you measure oh happenstance furniture and sundry says do you measure each sign individually when they're random scraps like this i do if i was going to be doing 10 signs all the same i would measure the four sides on one and then just cut them all out at the at the miter saw and hi diane she says she always loves seeing us diane's my one of my local utah friends all right, hold on. I got to turn this bad boy on. And Sarah's using all the members, channel members uh, emojis. All right. Woo-woo. Okay, we're about ready. Hopefully this isn't too loud. I, I, we never have really done it live because the air compressor is so loud. We haven't, have you even tested it yet? Yeah, I, I oh. did a, well, I'm going to need you to scooch. Yeah, I gotta you're going to elbow I got to put my butt over there. Get, out, get your butt out of the way. All right, so I'm. it's, it's sitting up on these half inch so that I've got my thing and let's see how well I execute this live. Usually I'm in the garage and I'm just cranking through them with the pneumatic stapler. So we'll give this a run. This will be the time that I get a staple in my finger, which randomly happens about every six months. And so I've got this gap here. I'm going to see if I can suck that down and see how good this staple gun is. Uh, the weather shed says, ouch, it does happen. Um, Emily Fernandez depends on the sign. This sign was custom stamped and hand painted. So this sign is going to be $24.95. If it was just a one color stencil, I'd probably be like $19.95. Sorry. It really I'm, depends on how much time I spend on them. I'm trying to suck that twisted board down there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you can hear the in-laws in the background, they're talking. Yeah, we're live at home. Jack's at school, but Big Jack and Little Darlene, my parents, are here. So what I did was I messed up. This board was supposed to be down here, and this board was supposed to be up here, but we'll go with it. 
I'll just trim it on the miter saw later. Do we remember ear protection when sawing? Yes. Yes. All the time. If you watch our videos, I've always got my earmuffs on and this isn't very loud. This is, I mean, this is way quieter than the pneumatic gun. Um, but yeah. And then don't you usually put some like connecting this piece? Yeah, on? once I'm all done, I'll run through here. You can see, like I said, I put the boards on the wrong side. So I got a little overage there. I'll just sand that down and reset. Yeah, and then 99.9% <laughs> of the time after we frame him out, he winds up sanding it down smooth with usually the belt sander or like 80 grit to take it off. And then he brings it back inside and I touch it up. If I wasn't live on a video, I would have just ripped this side off real quick and then swapped them, but whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. Whatever. <laughs> it's all right, it's rustic. No, I'll fix it. <laughs> it's not that rustic. When this video, when this video isn't live anymore, I'll have Zeb link the Lydia, the Lydia. I'll have Zeb link the video on how to create this look using IOD stamps and watered down DIY paint. You could show, you could show them on your little thing. What? No, because then I have to. You stamp it. You see. Oh, I'm missing. You... I'm like, why isn't that going in? <laughs> I'm too. I'm too low. You're so professional. It's because it's live. You know, if I was in the garage, I'd be done already. Okay, so now, oh, see, I missed. <laughs> oh my heavens. Don't staple while you're live. There we go. I'll probably have to redo the frame on this all the way around. The staple gun's working like it's supposed to. So I think I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use... Remember, if you guys watched our video the other day, we used part of this transfer on our planner that we've been using, which has been super helpful. But I'm going to use part of this transfer. It's the Flora Parensis. 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 It's a transfer from IOD. We have about our website. Anyways, I'm going to cut off some more of these flowers, put it on here, and then maybe I'll stamp over the top. All right, so once I get these on, I just shoot one staple here on the ends. Kind of holds everything together if I miss. And there we are. Framed up. Boom, baby. So don't necessarily do it like that and miss. <laughs> Actually, it. I think it's because, you know, we, we like to try brand new things out on live videos. I wasn't quite used to where this exits, whereas with my pneumatic staple gun, I know right where it's going to shoot it out from so I can just line it up and done. It took me about five tries to really like gauge where this was at. So, but done now and signs done. On to the next one. All right. That the thing about the IOD transfers is they're big enough that you can use them on multiple projects. You can also use them on furniture and a project, little here, little there. So you want to take the back off, figure out where you want it on your thing. So I'm just going to put mine with a little bit of the design going over the edge. This is the transfer I just showed you guys. I'm going to find my tool. What, We're multitasking. Um, Where's the tool? Oh, uh, I probably put it in here. I'll Usually I shake it out. Zev lost my tool. I have two. I'm saving them, remember? Oh, yeah. We saved these. these remember, are, you remember. These hold up. They're so much better than the old ones that IOD made that were like cardboard. These are like, they work for a lot of things. They're plastic. If you use the side of it, it's much faster. We discovered that when we did the coffee table. I like to kind of go over the edge like that to break it off. And then once you start pulling up the transfer, get a side of it. I hope the IOD sisters aren't still watching. We say that every time they watch. They're okay. They're okay. They'll, they'll be okay with me. They're like, oh, they show people how not to do it. <laughs> there you go. It's coming off. There. Voila. So yes, G. You... Willikers, we will send a link for the staple gun, uh, both that I use, the pneumatic and this, this uh, cordless one. And let me give you a little trick on it. When we send you links and they're from Amazon, 
if you order that item from Amazon, we get like one tenth of a cent, but it all adds up, which helps us make more videos. And even if you don't buy the item that we originally linked you to, if you're buying other things in that session, we still get a small amount for it. So if you ever want to help support us without actually spending extra money, if you use our Amazon links, that helps out and then you can buy whatever, you can buy toilet paper. As long as you go through our link to start with, we get credit for it and we appreciate it. And every month we get a little check and you know, I don't know, we buy lashes with it and Milwaukee tools. All right, so I'm just kind of rubbing this on here and you can see that it's starting to come off and you can kind of ride the, the wave, what? So I was just gonna read a comment. Uh, Nancy Modell asked, which alphabet stamps did you use? Which one? Oh, those are the typesetting, which we have on our website. They are on back order, but they should ship uh, middle to the end of January because we sold out, we ordered more, and they're on their way. Yeah. Sometimes you have to push a little hard when you're starting a new part of the design, but mostly if you just kind of take your tool, put it sideways, pull against it. Okay, this is a new rose. You got to break that one. You got to break it in and then you can just use the side of the tool, the long side, and pull it off. Hey Les, glad you could join. Les, <laughs> I haven't forgot about your bird I'm shipping you. Zeb buried it in the garage, so he's got to unbury it and then I'll ship it. Caitlin would have shipped it yesterday. Okay, Zeb, you want to... All right, G Willikers, if you buy that, I'll give you our Amazon affiliate link later if you... Uh, I'll put it in the description. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always throwing things out there. Sometimes people don't know. You know, that's why we link stuff. So, Alondra Garcia asked, I have a hutch and a corner hutch uh, and want to paint. What paint do you recommend? Uh, paint that we sell on our website. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, probably DIY or Fairy Chalk Mother, unless you want it super chippy, then milk paint. What colors do you like? There's, I, you know, I'm partial to, in the DIY, the White Swan. I'm partial to the Apothecary. You guys know my favorite colors. Um, but it kind of depends on what you want it to look like. Did you mention Celeste Landis with her super chat? I didn't even see the... Yeah, I did. I commented right there. Oh, oh you're like way behind on chat, Zev. Sorry. I was busy working, so I went back and tried to look at some comments. Yeah, nope. I commented while you were working. I typed, so I didn't interrupt you. Do you want to frame out one of these cute little barn wood signs? Yeah, I will. I was just, you were talking, so I was waiting. All right, boom, baby. Oh, we got a new member. All right. Where did it go? It's not it's right there. there. Happen sent furnitures and sundries. Okay. All right, Zeb's going to show you how to frame another sign while I go pick out my stamps or stencil that I'm going to put over the top of this. All right. Okay, so got my scraps. My half inch scraps that back out and I'm just going to actually make sure that these are the right sides so you know I actually look like I know what I'm doing and then we'll bring it back down and we'll do some more stapling. All right that one works. Okay. Bring you in close here. So the real, the big reason I got this Milwaukee gun is because I already have three of these big batteries. So the system is already set up. I do love the Milwaukee tools. They, I mean, I've been using them for my drills and my saw for a good solid two years and I've used them to build probably 20 tables just working like champs. No. This one's going to be better. I'm used to the gun now, the staple or the nail gun. All right, so you can kind of see how I just walk them around. <laughs> Staple. 
pull that in there. Good job. What did you staple do? <laughs> the spacer. <laughs> it stapled it right to it. I promise he's a professional on TV. All right. Now I'm going to just give them... Okay, so a couple of these went through too, but this is definitely a, a better on there. So this is the printable framed out. That's what it's going to look like. You can, like Jamie said, we made them size so that you can go buy like an 8x10 frame and just put them in. But we just printed this out at FedEx on, uh, on uh, matte cardstock, and I think it was like $1.50 a print to have them do that. But there you go. And you can you can uh, print off up to a hundred of these if you wanted to sell them in your booth or at a market or just have them for yourself. You want to send them to friends, whatever. Oh, let me show you. So you can see where the you can see where the staples are coming through. But I've got this nice lip back here that I can use so I don't have to add any hanging wall hardware. I put a nail or a screw in the wall and done. It'll just hang right there real nice. And we will go ahead and post uh, new, this link on the community page again today. We've had a ton of new members since we initially posted the free printable, as well as our membership group comes with a chapter every month of the book that we're writing, all about the history of Jamie and Zeb and Jamie Ray Vintage. So we'll post both of those links today. Um, if you just go to Jamie Ray Vintage in community, if you are a channel member, then you will see the channel member only post. That'll be in today, so that way you guys can see that if you haven't already downloaded it. And if you downloaded it when we first put up, you might want to download the revised version because we made it darker and we made it formatted to 8x10. So if you have questions about any of the membership channel stuff, you can always email customer care at jamierayvintage.com. We'll get back to you. So here is my transferred sign. And what I did is I taped on, this is one of the new Jamie Ray Vintage stencils. And part of it, I don't know if you can see it says love. And I'm just using the part that says love on it and not the rest of the stencil. So we just came out with these a few weeks ago um, along with the word cutouts. These are all my new stencils are designed by me, which is kind of fun. I'm using Little Black Dress and my Little C st stenciling brush. I'm going to bring them in close I'm so they can I'm offloading because you want it to almost be like a dry brush application. That's going to make it so that way you, oh, you get my big old tummy there, Zeb. All right, if you have it pretty dry, then that's gonna allow for less bleeding, which is when it, you know, you don't get straight lines. So that's pretty good. Offloading is always important. Okay, so I'm gonna come through. And you have to do it a few times to get full coverage because like I said, the brush is almost dry. This is DIY paint and little black dress. You're just gonna do that one, the yeah, love? Just the love, ta-da! Oops, well maybe if I can get this off. And I have a little spot over here where I got some black paint, I'll just touch that up, but it says love. And right. this sign will be done, ready for a frame. I'll frame it right now. What? The new tool is already paying for itself. They usually do the day I buy them. I know, because you play with them so much. I love to do that. If you guys have already purchased stencils from our website, jamierayvintage.com, or you've purchased essential stencils, it's really fun to think outside the box and just use portions of different stencils to create new looks that are uniquely your own. You can layer those with IOD stamps and the transfers, and you can really play around and come up with things. And the nice thing is one stencil, if it has multiple parts, you can get so many different things from it. Like that stencil has a heart with flowers on it, but it also says love, and I just needed something small. So I just used that portion on there. I wanted to do, I was thinking about doing a word across the flower, but the transfer is just too pretty. Careful not to smear my. Yep. The, the, the transfer is too pretty to mess up. And if you do have a little bit of bleed through when you're stenciling, here's a little pro tip. I take a tiny, tiny angled art brush and with the base coat, I just lightly go over, like at that one, the base coat's white. I'll lightly go over that L I got a little bit of bleed through and just touch that up and no one will ever notice. 
Well, maybe somebody if they look really close. All right, round three, working on getting this down. Oh, hey, this is you, important. You should get your safety glasses on too. I oh. had two pairs out here. I got safety lashes. Um, <laughs> Those are not <laughs> gonna keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me how you attach that, so don't forget. How did you oh, attach the barn? Yes. I, so we've gone through a bunch of adhe spray adhesives. So all I did, I'm not going to spray it in here because A, you don't, you want to wear a mask. You do not want to get this stuff in your lungs. It's a commercial grade adhesive. You can get it at Home Depot. It's $10 for this can. And I could probably get a hundred signs worth out of this. But this is the Super 77, the 3M. And it's, like I said, it's commercial strength and it works great. It'll cover 220 square feet. There's the number right there. And this is like a foot, so like 220 little signs. The nice thing is it dries quick and it's clear and loving this stuff. Like I, I sprayed this right before the video. It's not coming off and it is super fat, flat, flush, no bubbles, nothing. So That's going to be important to have because all of our printables will make great signs and you can use that over and over again every month as we come out with different ones. They're not all going to be watercolors. Some of them are going to be like words and things and it's a great way to just print it out, cut it out, slap it on and then frame it. I'm working on it like a uh, like a line sketch that should be pretty cool too. Habit Sam says if you put a layer of the base coat, like if you stencil the base coat, let it dry and then stencil the color on top, you do to get a cleaner image. That is true. I'm lazy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna staple this up real quick. Did I, no, we just spray it on the back. You're not gonna spray it on the front of the image. No, not on the front. Yep, just on the back. Oh, I turned it off. I'm like, why isn't it working? And don't put your hand on the love. It's not dry yet. I'm trying to be careful. All right. That's right. If we smear it, I know someone who can fix it. <laughs> Happenstance says, thanks for your honesty, LOL. I am too. I've gotten really good at fixing my lazy mistakes. Rocio is on Mexico. Hermoso, I loved. Thank you. Hermoso means beautiful, in case you didn't know, Zeb. Thank you. Zeb does not speak the Spanish. Nope. He can say taco, burrito. This morning, Jack asked for enchiladas. That's what we're having for dinner. Oh, do you want to talk, talk to him about uh, using the hashtag? Oh, okay. So if you guys have purchased our stencils, and I know you guys have, some of you, because we've sold a ton of them, my manufacturer has been super thrilled by that and she's been shipping them out like crazy. If you're using our stencils or our words, we have some hashtags. Caitlin will put the hashtags down there. Um, the hashtag for the stencils, if you use Jamie Ray stencils, are J Okay, go. Hashtag JRB stencils. If you use our word cutouts that you that we just put up a few weeks ago on our website, use hashtag JRB words and I will be able to search the hashtag, find your work, and then I can feature it in my social media and tag you in it. So definitely use hashtag JRB stencils if you used our stencils and hashtag JRB words if you used our word cutouts. We would love to share your work. And I kind of want to see what people are doing with them because usually you guys have way cooler ideas than me. All right, you may staple. I always love to see how people take kind of a spin off of what we do and make it better. Thank you, Caitlin, for putting those hashtags in there. And Mindy found the uh, special emojis for new channel members. All right. <laughs> Zeb all. It does kind of misses through the back, so if you're worried about that, you can always just run some like so tape around. So I'm the missing edge. through the back because I'm not angling it up quite enough, mainly because I'd rather blow through the back than the front. Oh yeah, me too. So it's holding it in plenty tight. Sometimes what I'll do if I blow through the back is I'll just get like uh, some um, wire cutters and just trim that off, just snip it off, and no big deal. Okay, so I had a question. How much? Oh, Wendy says, how much do we sell signs for? So a sign like this would be about $20. Wait, um, where's the Amore that's done? 
the Amour that's done. The Amour that's done has some hand painting underneath the stamping. So this one would be about $24. We're in Utah land of the signs. So we don't get as much for them. I know people in other areas of the country and in other countries are able to get more money for their signs, but that's just like a baseline for us. And remember, I'm using scraps. I'm using like leftover stuff. So they're only costing me, you know, three or $4 to manufacture. So it's still some good profit there. Um, Even if you were buying this wood all new, you could probably, a, a four by eight sheet of MDF, if you wanted to do it on that, um, so that you can nail into the sides real easy, is $28. So I don't know, what's four times eight square footage? Quick, go. Four times eight, 32. <laughs> So your you, math has been fuzzy lately. I know I'm not good. I'm not quick on my toes these days. But anyway, you could get a lot of signs out of twenty eight dollars worth of wood. Um, welcome, Arcia French. She's a new channel member. Thank you so much. Um, Les Meyer says, "How many coats of milk paint over my crackle? My base coat is a natural walnut finish. Usually, two coats of milk paint is what it takes. Three if it's white." And then, um, let's see, I, somebody else says they can't find the emoji, so maybe Caitlin can help Sometimes with Sometimes you have to back out and then come back in and it'll reload the page. Do you seal the sign when you transfer? Yes, all transfers should be sealed unless you're putting them on a window or a mirror, which technically putting them on a window or a mirror is off-label use, but we do it all the time. But yeah, so I will just take Sweet Pickens Top Coat, we have it loaded up in our HVLP, and we'll seal those. I'm not going to seal this one, I don't, or sorry, the house over there because I don't want to get that wet. Yeah, this is paper. And one of the things I didn't do on this that I'll do when we're not live is I'll take a shop towel and I will burnish the transfer and really make sure that it's secured before we seal it. That's important anytime you're putting a transfer on that you make sure it's adhered really well. And the other thing, if you try to put a transfer or a stamp and it's on a surface that's already been sealed, you're gonna to wanna to lightly sand it just to give some tooth to your surface. It adheres really well and never use um, toxic or harsh sealers. It can ruin your transfers. Water-based. So Water-based, non-toxic sealers are best or clear wax. All of the waxes and the liquid top coats like the Big Top and Sweet Pickens top coats that we sell on our website are perfectly fine to use on top of these transfers. I would try the um, Sweet Pickens oil wax. Haven't done that yet, so I could, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I wouldn't try that yet. Let me do it first and I'll let you guys know how that works. All right, let's see. I wanna do stuff with you, I'm not lazy, Maha says. Somebody asked me a question about Ikea. Um, it was about lockers there. She wanted to know if she could use milk paint on them. Um, I would say, yes, you're gonna need bond. It's not gonna stick without bond. I don't know the lockers that you were talking about. The, the, they said the 90s lockers they sell, I don't know. But try a, a sample area. Don't commit yourself to the whole thing. Try a sample. But we have painted IKEA metal before. We actually have a video on that a while back that we did, and we just used Bond. It worked great. Yep. Um, how big of a compressor do we recommend for an HVLP sprayer? At least eight gallons? So we, when we first started, and that'll be in the book about how we first got going, and how we built upon that. But we had an eight gallon compressor that hardly kept up. I could get about a dresser sprayed and then I'd have to wait. Um, if I was doing a bigger piece like an armoire or a hutch or like a table set, it would take a little longer, but still way faster than hand brushing. And you get the nice clean, no brush strokes finish. So an eight gallon will do it. The HVLP right on it says it recommends a 30 right on the box for the gun. A 30 gallon is recommended. You're not going to have to start and stop. It'll keep up. And then we have a 60 gallon. We have the big daddy, which is way bigger than we probably actually need. But it is super nice because it's not running all day. It, it actually will run, catch up, and then not be on while I'm working. So, so the milk paint sprayer we use is a critter. We link that in a lot of our videos. I know on my Instagram, I have a link to that. Um, and if Zeb can remember, I'll have him drop a link when we're not live anymore. Yeah. Les said she enjoyed reading the first chapter of our book. Oh, fun. A lot of people don't know this, but Zeb has been writing all of our married life. He has written many books that he's never published that are like fantasy, sci-fi, 
So I'm hoping that after we write this book for us about our business, then maybe that will launch him into getting some of his other work published because it's really good. And, you know, he gets minimal input from me. I read the chapter after he's done and have him add a few So things. they don't know that. It's written through Jamie's perspective. But I, I, I wrote that, like, it's I emphasis heavily on rough draft. I wrote that at about 2 a.m. Took me about an hour and a half to throw that together. So be be kind. <laughs> um, it's and we're we're putting it out to you guys because we value your opinion and love it. But Deb and I have been together for 19 years, so it's actually because he's such a good writer and knows me so well. He writes me very well, and I've only had to add a few extra things in there. Not necessarily things that he got wrong, just things that I think are funny or that I want to make sure don't get left out, <laughs> but it's actually working out pretty good. So I'm excited. Even if we never publish it after we've given it to you guys, it's just fun to get that information out there and have it for our posterity. So the next chapter is going to be, sorry, were you still going? No, I'm just looking at you because you're cute. <laughs> the next chapter is going to be more about like actual business stuff. The first chapter is kind of an intro to us, and our history up to when I quit my job and started working full time, so. Well, we're going to, and we're going to keep going and we'll probably write once we get done writing this book, then we're, we're going to start with all like the, like behind the scenes, one-on-one stuff. And we might even do that simultaneously as we go. We're having a lot of fun with it. And we have had so much fun interacting with all of our new channel members and just adding this extra benefit. And it's going to be great. And we're working towards a thousand channel members so we can hire an editor so we can make more stuff. Actually, if we got an editor, another channel might happen, like different than just what we do on this. Maybe well, we a, have cooking a cooking channel. channel. Jack wants to do his own fun little channel for kids. I have a channel that I haven't done anything on in a year and a half. So that's what we're, that's what we're working towards. So, <laughs> all right. All right. We love you guys. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys out with some sign making. Um, you can also do the exact same thing with a hammer and a nail. Yes. So don't think you have to go out and buy a $250 tool to make this. So real quick on that while she's getting ready to go. Or you can use the nail gun from Harbor Freight and your air compressor. And that nail gun's like 20 bucks. You literally could just take your piece of wood right here. This is how I would do it. I would stand it up on end and hammer down into this. That way it's not bouncing across the table as you try to hammer it. Or into your wife. I didn't hit you. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch right. you later. Bye, guys. We'll have another video up tomorrow, another one on Friday, and then our lives are Saturday nights at 8.30 Utah time. Don't forget to go to jamierayvintage.com. We would love to have you as a new member, so sign up to join our channel membership. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. <laughs> Bye, guys.